All right, good morning. Welcome to Motec Talk 2019. Uh, we are ready to get started this morning, so a couple quick announcements. Uh, some things to talk through to get us started here, hopefully get some excitement going in the room and then we'll jump into our keynote and then we'll jump into the sessions. Uh, first off, I wanted to announce the planning committee uh, or the leadership team. Uh, my name is Chris Ward, I work at Central R3 School District as the technology director there. Uh, Josh over here from Festus, give it up for Josh. <laughs> Patrick from Cape is somewhere around here. I don't know, Patrick, here he is over there. Jason Brooks from Parkway. Jay Rusan is somewhere in the building. Debbie Smith, I think, is over there as well. And then Eric Martin uh, from this school. Give it up for Eric. He's been running around on that day this morning and yesterday. Uh, so that is the planning committee slash leadership team for uh, MoTeC Talk. So who is here? We have 245 in attendance. Uh, if we compare that to the first year of MoTeC Talk, we had 118. Last year was 178, so we do continue to grow. Uh, we actually sold out this year, which is pretty spectacular. Uh, we were a little bit overwhelmed by that, uh, but we're excited for that. We have 102 organizations represented uh, at Motec Talk 2019. So we're mostly uh, Missouri Public Schools, but there are a few from Kansas. If you're from Kansas, yell or something. Yeah. All right, Missouri, let's give Kansas some love really quick, maybe a little love. Uh, there are some charter and private schools here. If you're a charter or private school, say something. We still don't like charter schools that much, but we do love you a little bit. College and library, where are you guys at? All right, so why are we here? So this is our third year of Will Tech Talk. We think the vibe is great, uh, especially that first year at Grand Glaze. It felt like a tech summer camp, uh, and we want that vibe to continue. We do think that there's a community here, uh, and we're in this thing together. We love doing it at the school, uh, because when you guys are walking into that room, that's the same kind of classroom that you're used to at the schools uh, that you work at. We want this to continue. We want this to grow, uh, especially in our third year. We're all in on um, we'll Tech Talk, the planning committee, uh, you guys giving us feedback, what content you want. Uh, we're just all in on we'll Tech Talk and its future. So this is your K-12 Tech Department Conference. Uh, you guys pick the sponsors. So once again, uh, the sponsors that are in uh, that area, uh, those were all based upon the survey that you guys filled out. Uh, we love telling people that they can't sponsor because they didn't make the list. Uh, from the survey. It's actually a ton of fun to turn turn people away. So you guys get to know that everyone in that room, uh, that means that two, three, four school districts or more said that they use that company, said that that company has integrity. Uh, so you can give those vendors, uh, those, those, those sponsors, some of your time uh, as, as you're walking around at Tech Talk because those are companies that we believe in. Uh, you guys pick the content. Uh, so again, we did the survey and we say what classes do you want uh, and then we build off of that on who, who we have present. So I know a lot of conferences, they just say send us what presentation you want and that's what you can do. Uh, we build that list of what content you want and we ask for presenters to present on that. As well as the swag, you guys told us what swag you wanted. Somebody wanted socks, that's why everybody got socks. Uh, the prizes that you want as well, we have several prizes to give out. And again, that was based upon what you guys told us uh, that you wanted. We want that to continue. So we are all in. Uh, a couple of things have changed uh, this year. Uh, Motec Talk has better insurance now. That's why we can have a battle axe present in a room. Uh, you can now write checks to Motec Talk instead of through Central R3 School District. We are uh, becoming legit. Uh, but we're not trying to make money off of Motec Talk. I think we've said this to enough of you one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. We're just trying to pump money back uh, into who we are, which is uh, tech departments uh, in school districts. We want that to continue, but over time, we, we've just gotten to this place where we're just ready to do it. We're ready to go big or go home. Uh, so we are going to try to expand. Uh, we are going to, so Kansas coming in kind of opened our eyes 
Uh, when we looked at Kansas, and they're actually a state, I think, that had the same struggle as Missouri with not a highly technical conference for school districts. Uh, so we're going to keep that going and growing. Uh, so next year, we are going to rebrand a little bit, and we're going to be called Midwest Tech Talk. Let's give it up for this. This is exciting. So you'll see us start to rebrand a little bit. But with this too, uh, we're going to do the two-day conference always in July or whatever, uh, but we're actually going to try to start doing more. Maybe another one-day event, uh, maybe, maybe some trainings throughout the school year uh, to get us more plugged in. Uh, that it's not just a tech summer camp, but that we're hanging out often uh, throughout the year. So hopefully what that means, if we're pulling in some people from, from other states, uh, a bigger pool of presenters. Uh, which means the high quality content is going to continue. Uh, so even with the 245, uh, what that means is we have full classrooms. So if we need to add more classrooms to have more people come, because there were people that were on the waiting list that didn't get to attend this, uh, we need more presenters. That's always the big struggle. So if our pool of people is bigger of who is attending, that means that there's going to be some experts uh, that can present as well. So more training opportunities, bigger, better, better, faster, stronger as we transition to Midwest. Tech Talk. Uh, that said, I'm going to turn it over to Josh, who's going to talk about the Tech Department Excellence Award. Give it up for Josh. Alright, I'm sure you all have seen the pictures of the Battle Axe and the Crown. The Crown is going to one of the school districts that was nominated by their leadership in their school and has won, the, the committee, our committee voted, and they were deemed the Tech Department of Excellence for this year, so they will take the crown home. Sorry, the battle axe stays, but they will, they will, they win the crown. So, a little bit about this award. Uh, it, you couldn't self-nominate. Your leadership in your, in your school district, your assistant superintendent or superintendent had to nominate you, give a little bit of justification as to why this district should be considered to be a Tech Department of Excellence. So we had uh, our two finalists were Raymour Peculiar. Uh, Ryan Booting is the tech director there. You can see the staff listed. Uh, can you guys stand up, Raymour? Are you in the in the room? All right, give these guys a, a round of applause. So both, of, both of the school districts that are, were our finalists had very compelling arguments from their staff, from their admin team, uh, as to why they excelled. Uh, here's a here's a snapshot of them in their in their office. So our other finalist was Mexico, Missouri, Mexico School District. Would you guys please stand? Stand up. Uh, so this, something interesting about this group, uh, you'll notice it's a group of three ladies. Their entire tech department uh, is is uh, woman strong. So congratulations to that. That's obviously not something that's very common. So, yeah, so again, Mexico was one of our finalists. Here they are. Uh, so this award will actually be handed out tomorrow. So come back during the keynote address, and uh, you'll find you'll find out who uh, who won. A few things. We do have Wi-Fi, thanks to Eric. I don't know if Chris said this, I really wasn't paying attention. Uh, this is Eric's school district, Eric, Eric's tech director here. Eric has gone above and beyond. His staff have gone above and beyond. His maintenance staff, they're all fantastic. Uh, we got smoking fast Wi-Fi. That's not something that happens real, real common in tech conferences. Uh, we, we noticed that, or we all know that from other conferences around the area. Uh, the password is Tech Talk, all caps. MoTechTalk.com is our website. That'll be rebranding as well. Twitter, hashtags, uh, the guidebook app. You all should have received Chris and Dad an email with, with per personalized links to the guidebook app. It has our agenda electronically. We push out notifications through there as well. Um, you guys can post pictures in there, interact with each other, post messages. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good networking app. Uh, free note IRC, hashtag MoTech Talk. That's another channel of communication. We've got a channel on Discord. You can see it there. Um, there is a Google group email list, motechtalk.com. This is uh, a common theme. We had to ask this last year. If you can avoid no food or drinks in this in this arena, in this gym, as well as the big gym where the where the interactive display is, uh, we would appreciate that. 
So, Chris. Chris has put an amazing time, an amazing amount of time into this Chromebook gauntlet. You will see in front of us. Where is he? Oh, he's right here. He's, he's so nervous about getting on a ladder. I'll, I'll let him explain that. 